Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 2007 Toyota RAV4 with a 2.4 liter engine in it. This should be the same, if not very similar, to the 2005 to 2012 year models RAV4 and similar to many other models with the same engine. Real fast, we're going to start off with, let's see, the PCV valve. It's going to be right here on the back side of the valve cover, between the valve cover and the firewall. Also, if you need any of the parts shown in this video, make sure you look for a link in the description to buy the parts, please. Also, I'm going to point out to you the EVAP Vapor Purge Solenoid. This is the solenoid that allows vapors to go back into the intake manifold to be burnt through the combustion process and out the tailpipe so you're not releasing fuel vapors in the atmosphere. Here we have the oxygen sensor. This is your bank one sensor, one oxygen sensor. This is the sensor that the computer uses to read how much fuel is coming out of the engine so it knows how much fuel to give or take away to get the proper burn. You have a great day, thank you. That was your bank one sensor one. This would be, now looking under the car, you're going to find the Bank 1 Sensor 2 oxygen sensor right here. This is your post catalytic converter oxygen sensor. This oxygen sensor is used to monitor the efficiency of the catalytic converter. So if you have a catalyst below efficiency code like a P0420, that would be a possible cause to that if the oxygen sensor isn't reading properly, but more than likely your cat's bad in that case. Down here under the driver pretty much you have the vapor canister for the EVAP system. Here we have the leak detection pump, the nice shiny ring around it. That's what the computer uses to check the EVAP system. This nice big shiny box is the actual EVAP vapor canister itself. This is what stores the vapors in the vehicle. And right here you have the emissions vapor vent solenoid. This is the solenoid that lets vapors release into the atmosphere when necessary. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. I will see you on the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for watching.